What's up, Jags fans? We are breaking down the film of the newest Jags wide receiver, Christian Kirk. Now, I'm super excited. We got some good film on deck to showcase his best attributes. But before we get to that, make sure that you subscribe and follow all the social media. We do live shows and live film breakdowns once or twice a week, and it's a lot of fun. The chat's a lot of fun. So you definitely want to be involved in those Jags conversations. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. get into the film i just want to tell you what to expect and like I'm, i took a couple of clips from this season and last season with him on arizona and it's kind of like a microcosm of what he does well so i, I picked these plays uh because it shows what he will probably do in jacksonville with 77 receptions last year on 103 targets 982 yards and five touchdowns um, his 10 yards per catch was very impressive, but even more impressive, he had 75 and a half percent of the throws that he was targeted to he caught. And that's sixth best rate in the NFL. So uh, what I really like about him is his ability to run himself open with his route running ability. He might be one of the best route runners in the NFL. And you can watch the film coming up and you can see why I say that. He breaks in and out of his routes as good as any receiver. He carries his speed when he changes directions excellently now when we first signed him to the big deal that we signed him to the four years 84 million i was a little skeptical because that's a lot of money for a guy that didn't even have a thousand yards last year but after watching the tape and seeing what he did in that arizona offense where a lot of it was improv with kyler murray getting outside of the pocket it, i really think he's going to translate to an nfl style offense and a quarterback like trevor lawrence really well i mean he runs such crisp routes he has some of the best hands i've seen in this free agent class smooth route runner i mean everything he does he just does excellently so i'm super excited about this film and i think you'll agree with me so let's jump right into it so this is why you want christian kirk on your team because he can do this type of thing like he can run himself open with his ability to run routes so you're going to see him here at the bottom of your screen uh lined up split out okay so a lot of people say he just plays in the slot uh, you can play pretty much anywhere, right? So you're going to see Arizona's going to come out in a pretty unconventional formation as far as you won't see Jackson on this too much with, you know, an H-back uh, running back in the backfield. They're going to put Kirk in motion. And as soon as they put Kirk in motion, the defensive back wisely moves back here. Okay, so 28 is wisely going to play off. They're going to end up playing a cover one. So basically man across the board from the secondary. And watch how Christian Kirk is able to run himself open um on this vertical here right so we'll play it straight up this way wide open great soft hands great catch there and just totally blows him down for a touchdown now when we watch it from the from the reverse angle like we, the sideline view right we're going to kind of see um how he's able to get himself open right and, and again this is just one play but this is the type of player that he is this is the type of route runner that he is so they put him starting off putting him in motion so now he's in a tight formation. So he's going to release here. Okay, so this is a pretty good release. He's coming out of his break with a lot of speed. Um, then he's going to give this defender right here. He's going to give him an outside move. And, and not much of an outside move. He just plants his right foot into the ground. Gets this defender to open up his hips. And that's going to give him everything he needs to release vertically here. See? Gone. Now, if we watch it again. Now, I'm, I'm going to play it out and, and, and watch out. Watch how he's able to do it here. Pre-snap motion, great call, Cliff, full speed, ooh, step outside and freezes him. Now, he's so good at running corner routes that this freezes him. Just that one move out there freezes 28. Um, he should have gotten a piece of him, should have grabbed him, done something, pass interference, anything better than this. But again, he's such a smooth route runner that he's able to beat defenders and defensive backs with simple moves like this because he explodes out of his break so fast. I mean, just releases low, doesn't lose any of his speed. One of the things you look at in a receiver is, does he lose any speed out of his breaks? And you can see, obviously, here, he doesn't. And then how about the catch? I mean, how about the catch? I mean, that's one thing Jacksonville was missing is a receiver who could catch. <laughs> so uh, glad that we have someone who can do that. So here we are actually going to see Christian Kirk out of the slot, right? And, and look again, this is what he's known for. But I want to just sort of show another video of his, his route running, his body control, his hands. I mean, all of this is shown every single play, but they're really exemplified here. So we're going to hear see here against the Titans, he's going to be on the line of scrimmage. He's going to be on the inside in the slot. 
basically he's going to have a defender in his face that's going to try to get a jam on the line of scrimmage, and they're going to end up declaring man coverage. Again, Christian Kirk, great in man coverage. Anytime he gets a man coverage, his ability to run routes is, is just – Excellent. Okay. So here we're going to see him release here. This is the broadcast view. So we're not going to get to see the route uh, entirely great. But if we look at it from the sideline view, right? Now, look at from the sideline view. Now, again, we have Christian Kirk right here in the slot. Okay. And he's going to end up being in this. Uh, they're in the cover one again. Uh, Tennessee's in this cover one defense. So basically, they're going to have one over the top in the middle. Um, he's manned up here. He's manned up here. Um, Arizona is in a 10 personnel, one running back. No tight ends and then trips to the right. One, two, three. So this is pretty standard formation. You're going to see this in Jacksonville a lot. And watch as a release here at the line of scrimmage. Releases out, corner route. That's what he's known for right there. Bam. Back of the end zone. Now, if we look at it again, okay. Now, watch his hesitation at the line of scrimmage. Again, he doesn't need to fight with his hands. He doesn't need to push the jam off of him because he's so quick and he can stay so low and accelerate. He just beats him straight up. And just two separate moves. A move outside. And then a move inside and just completely freezes this defensive back. I mean, this is a safety. He has absolutely no shot at covering Kirk here. I mean, he's, again, he's so fast out of his breaks. So fast. He can accelerate. He can go from planted to full speed or one direction to the other so quickly that he can do this on a routinely basis. And, and I really think that he's going to get utilized more in Jacksonville than he did in Arizona because many times uh, uh, Kyler Murray – had to throw him the ball when he's like on the run, um, when he's trying to improvise and do these types of things. When you get a drop back passer, a pure drop back passer like Trevor Lawrence, I think his route running ability will actually shine through more. So I think that's what the Jaguars were thinking when they went out and got him because his ability to run routes and beat defenders one on one anytime he wants will really, really help Trevor Lawrence and really help this Jaguars offense. So this is why everyone loves Christian Kirk out of the slot is because of his ability to run this corner route, right? And and so here we're going to see him. He's going to line up in the slot here. And you're going to see him run one of the most difficult routes to cover as a defensive back. He's going to be running a vertical. He's going to fake a post. And he's going to go to the corner, so Poco. And he's going to cut it out like this. One of the most difficult routes to cover in man coverage. And you combo that with a scissors concept, a post from this outside guy. And it's going to leave this pretty difficult to cover from the defense. Now, you got to look at what the defense is doing. So the defense is going to be basically lined up in a cover two. They're going to have this guy playing deep halves, this guy playing deep halves. This guy, I think he's playing more of a, maybe a cover four because he, he bails. So this could be a cover four. But this backside corner with nothing to do because of the orbit motion coming around this way and the two wide receivers out here with nothing to do, this basically, this defensive back is going to turn into like a, a blitzer, right? So because of that, this safety is going to end up playing half the field. He's going to end up playing a quarter, and he's going to end up playing a quarter. So we call this quarter, quarter, half, or cover six. All this was called pre-snap, or this was a check because of the orbit motion. Not sure. But anyway, you're going to set up nicely for this scissors concept that's coming right here. So we're going to back it up just a tad so you can see him at the line of scrimmage. Keep your eye on the slot at the top of the screen. Christian Kirk fakes inside, fakes the corner, and then <laughs> cuts it out. I mean, that's going to be open all day. I mean, that's one of the hard. I mean, that's insanely difficult to cover. I mean, you're asking this nickel corner who, again, nickel corners are supposed to be able to cover in space. It's supposed to have quick feet and do things like this. But that's difficult to cover. I mean, that's hard. And I mean, you know, this receiver is going to take three defenders eventually with him. But giving him to the sideline, that corner route, very crisp route runner. I mean, look how crisp this route is. I mean, that's when he sticks that foot in the dirt and goes the opposite direction. I mean, he's one of the hardest guys to cover. I mean, he's getting paid top three receiver money for a reason. I mean, he's getting paid a lot of money because he can run himself open. Now, when, when you don't have the size, you don't have the 6'4", the 220, you don't have the big frame, you have to be able to run yourself open. And that's exactly what Christian Kirk can do. And I look forward to him doing it. I mean, if he can do this, combo that with a great throw from, from Kyler Murray, and I think this is going to be just an exhibit of what he can do in the Jaguars offense. Now, there isn't much to say here about this play besides the fact that he's going to be able to compensate for his lack of height with his ability to control his body, specifically on sideline and back shoulder catches, right? So here again, he's lined up on the outside. He's going to with with man-on-man -man coverage. I mean, they run that a lot in the NFL. And he's basically going to have to beat this guy in the corner of the end zone. Now, if you're 6'4", you're a big guy, you can go up and get the ball, you just throw it up. If you're not and you have speed, you're a good route runner, good body control, you throw back shoulder. So that's what we're going to see here with Kyler Murray throwing it to Christian Kirk out to the side. 
a little three step drop, sidearm throw, and Christian Kirk goes and gets it. I mean, that's a I mean, that's a ball player right there. I mean, I will go on and on about Christian Kirk and his ability to catch the ball because in Jacksonville we had some of the worst receiving numbers as far as drop passes in the league. And Trevor Lawrence just frankly deserves better. And to have these types of hands to go out and get it on the back shoulder, get it on the sideline. I mean, the guy is just incredible with his balance, incredible with his body control. And I look forward to seeing these types of back shoulder passes. I mean, Trevor Lawrence can make these throws. I mean, you're picking a spot. You both know where it's going. He doesn't push off. He makes the catch, controls the ball, and gets both feet in bounds. I mean, this is a this is a this is a great this is a that's a football player. That's a football player right there. And you gotta be able to make those plays. And um, he can do it. I mean, he did this time and time again. This one was for a touchdown, so I wanted to show it. But just great, great play here, and I expect this to happen a lot here in Jacksonville. So this is what makes Christian Kirk so dangerous as, and so hard to cover is that uh, we've seen where he can just blow past you and, and fake you to the inside and run to the outside corner route. But he can also do the post. He can also run to the inside, deep route, big chunk yardage receiver. Here we're going to see him lined up in the slot here. And again, Detroit is deciding to play uh, man defense. They're going to have it. They're in a nickel package. They have two of their linebackers walk down into the A gaps right here. And they're going to try to get him with these wide nine techniques, try to keep Kyler Murray in the pocket. But what happens there is now you have a one on one with a nickel corner on Christian Kirk. And because of this, if we take a look at what happens, this nickel corner is actually already cheating out to the corner so or to the outside. So you can see Arizona's in their 10 formation, right? One running back, five offensive linemen trips out to the right. This is going to be a matchup nightmare somewhere. These three defenders right here are going to try to just kind of pattern match and try to bracket it off and figure out who's going where, make the receivers declare which direction they're going before they cover. The only problem with that is when Christian Kirk releases down the field, now this nickel corner is in, in, in trouble, right? And again, he tried to cheat the outside route. He did his homework. He knows he's dangerous on the corner. But because of that, he's actually going to cheat and flip his hips to the outside a little premature. And because of that, Christian Kirk's going to see the flips are hipped. The hips are flipped, and he's going to just beat him in the middle right there. Beautiful post route. And again, when a guy can hit you with a corner and hit you with a post, I mean, his route running is so smooth. This is just a simple 12-yard post route. I mean, this is what you ran in the backyard with your friends. Christian Kirk is just exceptional at getting out of his breaks with speed. I mean, you can see on all of these plays that we've shown, the second that he puts his foot in the dirt, the second he makes his break, that's when he loses the defender. And that's a talent. That's a skill. I mean, that's why he's going to be the top receiver in, on this team, probably a top receiver in the AFC South, because he's going to be able to run these crisp routes and Trevor Lawrence is going to be able to hit him uh, because he's going to be where he needs to be when Trevor Lawrence throws the ball and he's going to catch it. So those two things combined, it's going to make Christian Kirk very, very deadly. All right. The last play I wanted to throw in there, just because this is for all the naysayers about his size and his physicality, and he's going to get roughed up if he's the number one. They're going to be watching him. They're going to be spying him, and it's going to be different when DeAndre Hopkins isn't on the team. This play kind of shows that he can hold his own here. See, now Cliff Kingsbury is going to come out with a play call where it's not going to be very advantageous to Christian Kirk. Okay, uh, Arizona is going to be in their empty five wide set, right? Christian Kirk in the slot where he makes his money. They're basically just going to run a wheel and a hitch here. Okay, so the hitch wheel is designed to open up this guy to the outside. He should be open on this play, but the pressure from the defense is going to prevent Kyler Murray from even looking at this little hitch wheel concept over here. This outside here is just going to run a vertical here. And what's going to happen is Christian Kirk is going to drag all the way across the field. Now, when Houston drops into their coverage, this is going to pretty much put Christian Kirk by himself running across the middle of the field against safeties and linebackers. Not ideal for someone that doesn't like contact or anything like that, if anyone is going to say that about him. So let's take a look at how he handles it, okay? So keep your eye on Christian Kirk here in the slot. Gets off of the press here, comes behind the linebacker, gets hit by the safety and still makes a catch. Okay, I mean, that's everything you want from someone if you question their physicality, right? He's going to have to get off the jam here, all right? So this very initial one-on-one -on -one here, he's getting pressed at the line of scrimmage. Second, he's going to have to climb and find the perfect angle to behind the dropping linebacker. And then he's going to take a hit from the safety and still make the catch. Now, this is why he's going to be a quarterback's best friend, because all three of these things it takes its own skill. Like, doing this takes its own skill, all three of those. Getting off the jam with your feet, like he does, getting behind the linebacker, finding the right depth, taking a hit, pass interference probably, and then makes the catch. I mean, can't say anything about him being physical. He makes these types of catches, and um, that's why he'll be able to be a number one. For anyone that was wondering that, he can. He can take the abuse. He can take the punishment. Uh, teams tried to play physical with him, and there's no point because he's too quick. Uh, he's too fast out of his breaks, and if you try to get physical with him, then he will just beat you deep. So uh, he's the perfect package as a receiver. Uh, mix it with his great hands and his high football IQ and uh, – 
definitely going to be a star here in Jacksonville. All right, Jags fans, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about the video and what you think his best strengths and weaknesses might be when he's here on the Jaguars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, follow the Twitter and Instagram, all that stuff. Um, and we'll see you next time. As always, go Jags.